Raw pasta, the beginning to a delicious meal for many. But for Tammy, it's the source of her stress, pain, as well as shame. Some people are addicted to alcohol, drugs, but for me, my addiction is uncooked pasta. I've been addicted for 30 years. I love the crunch. And I feel high, so I feel good. All the stress goes away. I feel in control. It's empowering. It's just a release. This is me. This is who I am. I started off eating just like one or two handfuls of dry pasta a day, and my body just started craving it. I needed more and more of it, and progressed to a box a day. I love it. I knew I was addicted. There's a lot of times that I felt like enough is enough. I have thrown dry pasta away. Later that night, I went, got the box out the trash can, chucked it down. I'll take pasta in my purse, it's in my car. I have pasta on me all the time. My addiction has destroyed my teeth, destroyed my confidence. It's a nuisance to my life, a nuisance to my self-esteem. It's tearing me apart. I basically let dry pasta ruin my life. 30 years, and this is the first time Tammy's talking about her habit, and when we're watching that, I'm sure a lot of people watch that and think, well, that's, it's almost funny that you, because it's pasta. But this is such an extreme thing for you that recently you cracked a tooth, went to an urgent care, and what did you tell the doc? I told the doctor that I cracked my tooth from eating candy. From eating candy, because I was embarrassed about how I really cracked my tooth. Is that why it's taking you so long to talk about this? Because you were so embarrassed by it? Yes, and it's stupid. It's weird. It's hard to verbalize it. It's, who can say that? It's dry pasta. <laughs> like, who, it, it, no, it sounds funny, but it's the truth. It's... And, and to put this in perspective for people, Tammy says that she has consumed at least a box of uncooked pasta every day for 30 years, and we did the math on that. That means you've consumed 16,425 oh. boxes of raw macaroni. I know how hard this must be to talk about it. I'm, I'm glad you're here, and I'm also glad that you had the chance to talk with Dr. Ho off camera. Oh, yes, did, yes. Did that help? Big time. It, big time. I just I just love her <laughs> big time. She actually gave me the courage to actually come out here in front of just to make me just understand addiction. It's a lot of different type of addictions. Different people have their different things that they do, and I'm not as weird as my head was telling me. I can't imagine holding this secret for 30 years. And of course, a lot of people out there can't imagine, well, why, why uncooked pasta? She had suffered low self-esteem for a very long time since she was a child. There were a couple of traumatic things that happened, but either way, she really started to second guess who she was, whether or not she was doing things right. And this became a coping mechanism for her because every time she ate the pasta, the texture, the repetitiveness, and our brains are attracted to repetition. And I was explaining to Tammy, it's like a big hug for your brain and you were seeking that because nobody else was there to hug you and keep you safe all the time. Yes. And over time, you go to this quick fix, even though there's these long-term mental health and physical consequences because it's what you know. And in the immediacy, it felt so good. And we were talking a little bit about how now she's motivated to really change her behaviors because she's got a young son. And recently, you gave your young son a little bit of dry pasta because he asked for it. And then you were horrified because you didn't want him to fall into the exact same trap as you had been living for 30 years. Yes. Yes. And I know you're embarrassed by this, but today, right here, right now, are you, are you ready I to tackle so this? I am so ready. I am so ready. Because 
Ken, we, we, we know you were brave to come here, and I'm glad you could talk with Dr. O, but we actually have a special guest we want to introduce you to. Please welcome Chief Clinical Officer of the Center for Balanced Living, Jason McRae, via Skype to the show. Yay. You can yeah. see Jason right up there. Jason, thank you so much for being with us, and I know you've been listening to Tammy's story, and you have something you'd like to share. Yeah, I do. Uh, Tammy, the doctors have shared your story with us, and we here at the Center for Balanced Living are really moved by your pain and the degree to which this has just taken control of your life. So we're the last freestanding nonprofit clinic of our kind in the country, and we're dedicated to helping people reclaim their lives from chaos with food and just really feeling out of control. So what we're prepared to do is we're going to work with you for the next year psychotherapy, nutrition and counseling, psychiatry if necessary, and we're really gonna help you to, to uh, take your life back from this. I'm absolutely confident that we can help you, and we're gonna look forward to meeting you just as soon as you get home and get you on the road to recovery. Oh my God. Oh, that is a, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. new coping skills. Yeah. Because you need effective new coping skills to replace your old habits, yes. right? You need yes. something to replace what's going on because it is giving you something that is sort of like a self-soothing effect and we need to find other ways for you to soothe yourself. Oh my gosh, thank you. Jason, thank you so, so very much. And as often happens when people are using a substance that can be harmful to them, you have admittedly destroyed a lot of your tooth enamel, you have a lot of issues in your mouth, and we've got to address that. So we have one more surprise. I want you to welcome oh, cosmetic no. dentist, Dr. Joe Willardson, <laughs> oh, right here God. before you. Yeah, he, he oh, also has gosh. something he'd like to say. Oh, God. Oh, so my God. Oh, my yes. God. Um, oh. You know, as you go through this process, and, and as you get cleared from this, we have an extra special surprise where we're going to give you a smile makeover oh my and get God. your confidence. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh, my God. It's so exciting. Oh, my God. You know, oh you know, God. You know usually. Oh, God. I got to tell you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, usually oh I don't. Oh I don't like to end the segment. <laughs> Now, Tammy, I, I really quickly, oh though, I, I refuse to end a segment with tears. <laughs> oh, but in this case, oh, gosh. are these tears of joy? The joy of everything. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. And real, real quick, Tammy, what would you tell someone out there who's struggling with something like this, who's hiding it from everyone? Get help. Right to the doctors. <laughs> 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 